ओम शांति थर्ड जून 2024 साकार मुरली लिसन्स स्वीट चिल्ड्रन हैव अ कीन इंटरेस्ट इन रिमेंबरिंग द फादर हु मेक्स यू इनटू द मास्टर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज ओनली बाय हैविंग रिमेंबरेंस दैट यू विल बिकम सतोप्रधान क्वेश्चन टू व्हिच वन एस्पेक्ट शुड यू पे फुल अटेंशन सो दैट योर फोरहेड दैट इज इंटेलेक्ट ओपन्स अप कंप्लीटली answer pay attention to this study god is teaching you and you must therefore never miss this study you have to drink nectar for as long as you live pay attention to this study do not be absent you must find a murli and study it every day there are new points in each murli through which your forehead opens up om shanti god shiva speaks to the kaligrams this only happens once in the whole cycle only you know this no one else can know this human beings don't know this creator or the beginning middle and end of creation at all you children know that there will be obstacles in this establishment and that this is called the sacrificial fire of knowledge the father explains whatever you see in this old world that is all to be sacrificed and so you mustn't have any attachment to it the father comes and teaches you for the new world this is the most auspicious confluence age this is a confluence of the vicious and the viceless when change has to take place the new world is called the viceless world there was just the original eternal deity religion you children know that these points have to be understood father tells you day and night children i tell you the deepest points of all the study will continue for as long as the father is here then the study will come to an end no one apart from you knows these things you two are number wise and bab dada knows this so many fall and there are so many difficulty it isn't that everyone stays constantly pure because you don't stay pure there has to be punishment only the beads of the rosary pass with honor then subjects to are created these matters have to be understood very well when you explain to others they are not able to understand it takes them time you are not able to explain as much as the only the father knows about the report etc that come so and so has fallen into vice this happened no names can be mentioned if baba were to mention any names no one would like to speak to that person everyone would then look at that person with a vision of dislike and he would lose his place in everyone's heart all the income he had earned would be lost only the one who has fallen knows and the father knows are very incognito matters you say that you met so and so that you explain to them that you explain to him very well that he can help in service however that is possible when he comes in front of you for instance although you explain very well to the government you would not be able to explain to anyone if he were to explain anyone no one would believe him only those who are to understand will understand he would not be able to explain to others children explain that this is a jungle of thorns and that we are making it into an auspicious place this peak of benevolent god vishnu all of those verses belong to the path of devotion it is auspicious when it is the kingdom of vishnu they show the incarnation of vishnu baba has seen everything he is experienced he knows all of those regions very well the one whose body the father enters has to have a personality this is why he says 
I enter him at the end of his many births when he has experienced everything very well here. It is then that I enter him, who is an ordinary human being. Personality doesn't mean that he should be a king or a member of a royal family. This one has a lot of experience. Ramhaba. I enter this one's chariot at the end of his many births. You have to explain that a kingdom is being established and that a rosary is being created. How this kingdom is being established, how some become kings or queens and how others become something else are all matters that no one can understand in a day. Only the unlimited father gives you the unlimited influence. God comes and explains to you, but nevertheless, hardly any, be any become pure. It's time to understand this. Souls experience so much punishment. Even after experiencing punishment, some become subjects. Father explains, children have to become very sweet. You mustn't cause anyone sorrow. Father comes to show you all the path to happiness and to liberate everyone from sorrow. Therefore, how could he cause anyone sorrow? Only you children know all these things. People outside are hardly able to understand anything. You have to break your attachment away from all your relatives, etc. You have to stay at home, but only for the sake of it. It is in your intellect that this whole world is to be destroyed. However, no one has this thought. Special beloved children understand this. And they too continue to make effort to study. Many still fail. There is a lot of spinning of Maya. She too is very strong. However, you cannot explain these things to anyone else. People come to you and want to understand what happens here and why there are so many reports. These people, that is government ministers, keep getting transferred, so you have to explain to each one. And they say that this is a very good organization. The things to do with establishing the kingdom are very deep, entertaining. You children have found the unlimited father, and so you should have so many, so much happiness. We are becoming the masters of the world. Please, and so we surely, we surely have to have divine virtues in us. Your aim and objective is in front of you. They are the masters of the new world. Only you understand this. We are studying and the unlimited father who is knowledgeful is teaching us in order to take us to the land of immortality, that is to heaven. We are receiving this knowledge. Only those who claim the kingdom in the previous cycle will come. You are establishing your kingdom exactly as you did in the cycle. This rosary is being created number wise. A school too. Those who study will receive a scholarship. Those are limited matters, whereas you are being told about unlimited matters. You become the father's helper and you are therefore the ones who claim a high status. In fact, you have to help yourselves. You have to become pure. You are Satupratan and you definitely have to become that again. You have to remember the father. You can remember the father while standing, sitting and moving around. You have to remember with great interest. The father who is making you into the masters of the world. However, Maya doesn't leave you alone. There are many types of repression. Baba. I have many sinful thoughts. Father says this is a battlefield. You have to conquer the five vices. To understand that you will be by remembering the father. The father comes and explains to you. And on, none of those on the father know this. This is a study. The father asks, how will you become pure? For pure and you to become that again. Treaties are pure. You children know that our students are studying. 
in the future you will go into the sun dynasty you have to make very good effort for that everything depends on your marks by falling on the battlefield to go into the moon dynasty during the name battlefield those people have then shown a and arrow etc did they physically fight that they used bows and arrows there wasn't anything like that previously they used to fight with bows and arrows there are still signs of the of that now some people are very skill, skillful in shooting arrows there is no question of a war etc this knowledge you know that shiv baba alone is the ocean of one from whom you receive the status the father now says you have to break all your attachment away from all your relations of bodies in your own body all of this is old the new world was the golden age of bharat its name was so famous who taught the ancient yoga and when no one can know this until he himself comes and this is something new whatever happens every cycle it will repeat there cannot be any difference in that the father says now by becoming pure in the final world you won't have to become impure for 21 worlds father explains so well but in spite of that not everyone studies with the same intention there is the difference of day and night some come to study study a little and then disappear those who understand very well also experience of how they come and they then made a experience those who understand very well so share that experience of how they come and how then they made a promise to stay pure the father says after making a promise authority your even the once you had found is lost the consent new to bite you won't be able to tell anyone remember the main thing they ask is about wise your children have to study this study regularly the father says tell you new things you are students and god is teaching you you are students of god you mustn't miss even one day of such an elite study if you miss hearing the murli for even one day you receive an absent mark even very good mark is miss think they they think what does it matter if they don't you will get an absent mark and you will then fail the father himself says every day i tell you such good points that they will be very useful To explain them at the right time. If you haven't heard them, you use them. You have to drink this nectar for as long as you live. You have to imbibe these teachings. You must never be absent. And take a murli from anyone and study it. You must not have your own arrogance. Oh God, other is teaching you, and so you mustn't miss that. For even a day, such points emerge every day in your forehead that collect of you or anyone at once. You need time to understand the soul is, the supreme soul is, or the part of. At the end, you will just remember. Consider yourselves to be soul. Remember. That. However, at the moment, you have to explain. This. The stage of the end is that. Will go home while in remembrance of the father. Only by having remembrance will you become and understand for yourself how pure you have been. Those who are impure would definitely receive less. The main eight jewels pass with honors. Don't expect. These are very subtle matters. The study is so elevated. You would not have thought or dreamt from the multi-million times fortune by remembering the father. In front of this, those businesses, etc., are of no use at all. Nothing is going to be useful. 
Nevertheless, you have to do everything. You must never think that you are going to you are giving to Shiva. You are becoming multi millionaire. If you have the thought that you are giving, the strength of that is reduced. People donate and perform charity in the name of God. You see, that is not giving. God is the bestower. He gives you so much in your next birth. This is also fixed in the drama. The path of devotion, they receive the happiness, whereas you receive inherited happiness from the unlimited. Chha, to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the Baba. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. Spiritual children do say namaste to the spiritual father. Thanks for that. You have to drink this nectar and imbibe these teachings for as long as you live. God is teaching you. Therefore, you mustn't miss a mood or even a second. In order to accumulate an income of multi-million, while doing everything and living at home for the sake of it and doing all your work, you have to stay in remembrance of the father. Blessing. May you become worthy of being praised and worshipped by enabling everyone to receive a right with your spiritual personality of happiness. Explanation Those who claim a certificate of contentment from everyone remain constantly happy. Because of your spiritual personality of happiness, you become well known. That is, you become worthy of being praised and worshipped because you souls have pure and positive thoughts for others and remain happy. They receive happiness, support, things of courage and zeal, enthusiasm. These attainments and people, some to receive a right and others become devotees. Logan, the easy way to claim a blessing from the Father is to have love your heart. Shanti. Om Shanti.